two thirds of the country said they wanted Roe v. Wade to stay in place, and we have six unelected judges who simply said, too bad. My it does feel very much like being a woman in America is fundamentally different. I think a lot of people don't understand that Roe v. Wade completely changed what it is to be a woman in America. I'm Patty Colhane, correspondent for Al Jazeera English. Between us, I feel like a second class citizen. You go into this mode as a reporter where you're just like, okay. I mean, there were a couple moments where I was like, wow. This is happening. Right now, 13 states have outlawed abortion. They had trigger laws on the books. But I mean, we were just doing live shot after live shot after live shot, trying to explain it. It wasn't until the next morning when I woke up and it really processed what this is going to mean for the kids. And as a mother, that's where I go. We won't go back. One thing that struck me on the pro-abortion rights is the absolute rage that they felt. There was crying. Is out there. Is out there. there was anger, there was yelling and frustration. And to see some woman here who has been fighting for these rights for like 36 years is outrageous. I was talking to this anti abortion rights activist, this 26 year old young woman, and what struck me is she had no idea of the history of Roe v. Wade. I wanted to explain to her that when my mom, before she got married, she couldn't get a credit card. And even when she did get married, my dad had to co-sign for her. Women could be fired for being pregnant. There was no law banning sexual harassment at work. So Roe v. Wade in many ways was the bedrock for women advancing as much as they have. In one generation, we've had these progress. And in one generation, the activists will tell you that it's completely gone. The vast majority of people in this country who get abortions are already mothers, 60%. If you're in one of these 26 states that will eventually likely ban abortion, you have two options. You can have an illegal abortion, and that's very, very dangerous and possibly criminal now. You can try to find the money to get to one of the liberal states that have allowed abortion. Those clinics are gonna be overwhelmed because so many people are going to be trying to get there. And this is why it is going to disproportionately impact poor women and minority women as well. I am scared as a Texan, and I am scared as a woman, and I am scared as a Mexican. I thought about the women that are going to be put in impossible situations. I just feel overwhelmingly sad for them. You've seen Latin America really go in this direction of giving women the freedom to choose. And now you've seen the US go completely the opposite direction. I think what people need to understand across the globe is the vast majority of Americans didn't want the Supreme Court to overturn Roe v. Wade. From the outside looking in, it's hard to understand how six people can so dramatically change the country, but that's the system we have. I think it's important to remember that when the Supreme Court nominees were before the Senate, they all said Roe v. Wade is settled law, it's precedent, and reassured Republican senators that they were not going to take the step that they have just now taken. The only way this permanently changes is if the Democrats get enough power to change the Supreme Court. We are the post-Roe generation! You're gonna see a very long period of uncertainty unless they decide to pack the court, which they just don't have the support for right now. Every single woman in this country who gets pregnant is going to be impacted. The war on women in the U.S. is real. 